In this video, we'll be discussing about the single gene disorders, aka monogenic disorders, where only single gene is associated with the disorder or disease. And uh, these disorders follow the Mendelian inheritance. That's why they are referred as Mendelian disorders also. Now let's classify these disorders on the basis of inheritance. First, we have the autosomal dominant inheritance disorders. Second is the autosomal recessive inheritance disorders. And third one is the X-linked recessive disorders. Here if we list these disorders, we have disorders on the left. Then we will be having the abnormal protein associated with that disorder or disease. And on the right we will be having the function of that protein which gets altered or mutated. First of all, let's discuss the autosomal dominant disorders. Number one, we have the familial hypercholesterolemia. Where we have the high levels of cholesterol in the blood. It's due to the presence of abnormal protein called a low-density lipoprotein receptor, whose function is receptor transport under normal conditions. Then second one is the Marfan syndrome. This disorder affects the connective tissue and skeletal system. And we have the fibrillin abnormal protein in this disorder, whose function under normal condition is structural support. Then third one is the neurofibromatosis. In this disorder or disease, the tumors grow in the nervous system. And this is due to the mutation of NF gene that leads to production of abnormal protein, that's neurofibromin protein. And under normal conditions, when we do not have any kind of mutation in NF1 gene, that time NF1 protein acts as GTPase activating protein that negatively regulates the ROS or MAPK pathway. Now moving further, here we have the ehlers danlos syndrome which is a type of connective tissue disorder where we have the collagen abnormal protein whose function is structure support under normal conditions. Then we have hereditary spherocytosis where we have the sphere shaped erythrocytes or RBCs rather than bioconcave and it's due to abnormal protein like spectrin, anchorin or protein 4.1 whose function under normal conditions is to maintain the shape of RBCs and structural support. Then we have Huntington's disease, which is a kind of neurodegenerative disease, where we have mutated Huntington gene that gives us abnormal Huntington protein. And under normal conditions, this protein aids in brain development and has some work in axonal transport during the developmental process. And finally, we have another important disorder that shows autosomal dominant inheritance, and it's adult polycystic kidney disease where we have abnormality in renal tubules uh, in the presence of abnormal protein like polycystin protein. And uh, under normal conditions, this protein shows cell-cell interaction or cell-to-matrix interactions. Now let's get to autosomal recessive disorders. First, we have the cystic fibrosis, where we have mutated protein in the form of CFTR protein. And this mutation leads to several set of symptoms that mostly affects lungs, pancreas, liver, kidneys, and intestine. The detailed video about cystic fibrosis is linked in the description. Second recessive disorder is the phenylketonuria, PKU, where diseased person has intellectual disability, behavioral problems or mental disorder. And it's due to presence of abnormal phenylalanine hydroxylase enzyme or its absence, which under normal conditions catabolizes the phenylalanine amino acid. Then we have Tess-H's disease where we get the destruction of no cells when we have abnormal hexosaminidase protein then we have severe combined immunodeficiency disease or disorder where we have abnormal adenosine deaminase protein that leads to disturbed development of functional T cells and B cells then we have alpine beta thalassemias where we get abnormal hemoglobin that halts oxygen transport then moving further towards another disorder that's sickle cell anemia where we get abnormal hemoglobin protein that also halts the oxygen transport. The detailed video of sickle cell anemia is linked in the description. Then we have Nyman Pick disease, where sphingomyelin accumulates in lysosomes that's due to abnormal NPC1 protein, and under normal conditions, this protein aids in lipid transport. And last important autosomal recessive disorder is the Robot syndrome. Here this disorder is characterized by prenatal retardation or disruption of cell division, leading to malformation of bones in the skull, face, arms and legs. In this disorder we have abnormal N-acetyltransferase ECO2 protein 
and under normal conditions this protein shows acetyl transferase activity in sister chromatid cohesion now let's get to the x linked recessive disorders first we have the hemophilia a where we have abnormal factor 7 protein that affects blood coagulation second one is the lechner syndrome where we have the deficiency of hgprt protein and this protein is important for purine biosynthesis and finally we have the duchenne or becos muscular dystrophy where we have abnormal dystrophin protein that under normal conditions has role in structural support and in cell membrane integrity so these are the important single gene disorders that follow mendelian inheritance i hope you like the video if you like it give it a thumbs up and support me work on patreon or youtube and make sure to subscribe to the channel thanks